Okay, so uh, hey everybody. My name is Thomas Davids. I'm a senior studying environmental studies. And uh, this semester I had the opportunity to work with uh, the Nature Conservancy. Uh, the Nature Conservancy is an environmental organization, a global environmental organization uh, with the main mission to conserve the lands and waters on which all life depends. And um, part of that mission is to stay up to date on the latest technology developments and understanding the impact on lands and water pretty much. And so my main deliverable was to research and create a report on such a developing technology. And um, my research was focused on hydrogen fuel. And my report was focused around answering the following questions. What is hydrogen? Why is it important for the Nature Conservancy and for the general public to understand? And to kind of go into uh, what are the impacts of hydrogen on uh, the environment? So if I were to kind of summarize my full report into two slides, um, I'm gonna kind of give an introduction to what hydrogen fuel is and kind of why it's important to, to uh, research. So hydrogen fuel is just pure hydrogen gas, H2, and it is a clean fuel that produces energy in water when it's used in a fuel cell. It has a high energy capacity and low weight, meaning that it has the ability to um, store a lot of energy and you can store them in tanks, you can transport it and then turn it back into energy. And in this way, it acts similar to a battery. And because of this, it has a unique potential to fill in the gaps within the renewable energy transition. So as economies transition to a more sustainable and greener future and begin to implement solar and wind, we have a couple of problems and gaps that need filling to make that transition fully possible. One of the most common problems is storage, and this is where hydrogen might be useful. And so at the bottom is just kind of an illustration of how solar and wind can power the electrolysis process, which um, is the process that splits water to make hydrogen fuel. And then you can store that hydrogen fuel and use it as a, at a later date um, in a fuel cell. So some takeaways and some research findings that were significant in understanding the effects of hydrogen fuel one of the biggest concerns with using hydrogen is water consumption. Um, as I just kind of mentioned, the, the way you make hydrogen is by splitting water. So it's fundamentally going to use a lot of water to make it. And that is a concern in a lot of areas in the United States, specifically water stressed areas, such as like Arizona, for instance. So that is something that policymakers and people should be aware of moving forward. Um, another impact that hydrogen fuel has is the necessary infrastructure required for this hydrogen economy to operate. Um, this includes the construction and the storage tanks, the pipes necessary um, for hydrogen to get to fueling stations, to get to homes, um, anywhere it would be used. And um, a takeaway I had from this experience um, was doing research one, but also doing research on a developing technology was really interesting. My mentor Liz and I uh, were sending articles back and forth that were coming out um, like as we were doing this report. So it was really interesting to kind of be like learning about something that is being researched and developed right now. And that was a really cool experience. Um, but yeah, that was my experience with the Nature Conservancy. Are there any questions? <laughs> 